clearly a, a nice game and a competitive group on the other side, variety of arms. The arm that ran out there for us today was as good as I've seen him. You guys probably maybe saw more of the, the stuff as you were watching the velocities and the, the other things going on during the broadcast, but that was, that was sharp. And it's, the velocity for him is important, and it was there today. It was there the whole time. We got to a point where we felt he had thrown enough. That's two starts. It's still early. We didn't want to go past you know 85 pitches. I think we got to, to that. And he was good. And it's intense. And that fastball was climbing through some good off-speed pitches. But again, for him, the better that fastball is, the, the off-speed pitches may become less frequent. And when you do flash them, they have some substance to them because it is deceptive and catches it, the offense off guard a little bit. So very proud of him. The defense today, you hear me talk a lot about our defense today. It stood out. Like there were some very nice plays. Left field, Ferrer's ball in the gap. Tough to, with the wind, it was, it was awkward out there today. Diamez, that's as high on that wall screen as you can go to bring a ball back down, and he did it. Great play. The double play was key. Cam's charge play. The game clock, Lodice, just you could sense that the defensive savviness was, was good today. It was there. Jackson caught a nice game behind the plate. Um, we have to execute a little bit better in moments out of the bullpen. You know, we talk about is, does, is the matchup there? I think in most cases today it probably was with who we went to to give them an opportunity. Ox was good to slow it down and finish it. I think you see flashes of what Rowan is capable of, similar to Jamie, different arm slot, but similar fastball stuff. Um, Joe's got to be on it better. Offensively, that's the first time the short game has factored in for us this year. The, the bunts, Lodice's bunt was beautiful. Diamez's was good enough. It wasn't exactly what we had in mind. It was good enough. It wasn't great. But those moments helped. Like, we needed to get the first run. I think the bunt, Diamez was plated the first run, I believe. Just it seemed like the game we needed, we needed to score that run. Um, and then the bottom third of the lineup, I think there were some extra base hits all over, all over the place. Each team capitalized a little bit from the win. There was a West ball kind of blew into the corner, and I think a couple of the balls off the screen and the one home run they hit. The win helped, so it helped both teams. You do sense that there are moments we could really blow the game open and separate, and we haven't right now. But that's OK. You know, you have good enough at bats. I think if you're consistent, those things will happen. Um, you just wish you could, you could punch that one a little further out of reach. Uh, but all in all, a good win against an experienced good team. Did you have to talk to um, uh, Drew and, and Jackson about playing back in their hometown and the emotions that go along with that? You know, probably not enough, to be honest. They wanted to be here. Like, this is part of the equation in the world we're in is they want to do this. And um, it is unique. Like, everywhere you go, people know you and everything you do. It's kind of everything these guys do nowadays is out there. But when it's your hometown, it does, it does have a little more weight. So I probably haven't talked to them about it enough. But um, I kind of pick sometimes when to do that. And they're clearly in a good spot and comfortable with how the season has started. I'm proud of them. Like they've they played well. Like that's a that's a good ball game by two hometown guys that kind of turned it up today for us, and we needed it. Jamie's confidence and intensity seems to kind of just tick up every time he's out there right now. Just how good is that to see it in year two for him? It's great. Uh, you know, he's logging starts. This is when you have that kind of capability. It would feel probably as we watch that. This is, hey, this is easy, like, just go out and do your thing. Well, there is a learning process and a comfort level that comes as you've gone through your start and your post-start work. And what does it feel like to have a really good start? How do you bounce back if it's not good? I think we're probably, in terms of the number of starts he's had, like, he's starting to log some of those feelings and, and knows how to work through it and knows how to relish in the excitement of it and bounce back if, if innings or outings don't go your way. So he's maturing. I think the work that Jamie does in this weight room has helped him, and what Micah does in the bullpen, it, it's all coming together for him. Now, this is, a long, this is a long season. There's freshmen that I've coached that have had 14, 15, 16 starts as freshmen. So he's still 
like in that learning process, but the maturity and the confidence of the stuff and gamesmanship of being into the game, like you can see it blossoming before your eyes. Any idea what Micah's message was then when he went out? No. No. I don't even remember what inning it was, to be honest. In second again. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, I, I, I just said go calm him down, like go let him catch his breath. Come down. I, I didn't get into that. Um, I'm going to let Micah do his thing. I'll find out here in a minute for you. <laughs> you mentioned the Amos' run and the catch and hit the leadoff single and the sack fly, too. Just how much do you enjoy just watching him play baseball and all the things that he does at a high level? Well, I love it because the playbook is open. You can do a lot of different things. You know, he uses the field. He two-strike hits. He has a sense of running the bases. And the short game, like, is there. The short game for him is not a finished product. And we talked about it this morning a little bit during batting practice on just the pitch selection and placement of bunting. is like pitch selection when you hit. It has to line up with what you're wanting to do. Um, but yes, like all of it, the defense, the range, the confidence, he takes charge out there. So he checks every box. And you love, like as a manager, you love players that just open things up for you and can do a lot of the different things in your offense and your defensive game. But for him, every bit of the offense is in play. And it, what, all of it was in play today. That catch, also, not just the distance and the height, but it was a windy day. Like, I mean, his catch was pretty special. It's tough. And, and if you guys were ever to come watch like a full fall practice where we're taking batting practice and those, those outfielders usually do their, their cage stations while we're finishing up our infield pitcher, catcher, defensive stuff, those guys go hard. Like, so we see that a lot. It's fun to watch it show up in a, in a game where everybody sees it. But I'm just telling you, those outfielders go hard every day in batting practice to get those reps. They're so valuable in learning the wall and how to jump and when to jump and when you have room to jump and when you have to just simply play the ball off the wall. That's good defensive learned skills. And that was, that was a great play. But I do think how hard they go in practice, like all of that work, you see why they they taste it and enjoy it in games like this. Those were two great plays. Ferrer's play was good. Tough catch in left center. Do you have a, you have a plan for a starter tomorrow? Is that something? That Tejeda, happened? yeah, Tejeda. Unless something happened in the dugout during the game, Tejeda's got it. Good. All right.